And now, a Zone at 91.3, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem ushers fans out of the era of Michael Baying 80s and 90s franchises with this fresh, uniquely animated mix of action, comedy, and nostalgia. There are quite a few notable qualities to Seth Rogen's take on the ninjas with attitude. First and foremost is the incredible animation style. The film was directed by Jeff Rowe, who also brought us the Mitchells vs. the Machines. He once explained that his vision for this project was to make the movie feel unslick, like the way you would draw when you're a child or a teenager. Less about skill developed from formal art training and more about the enthusiasm of a fan drawing something out of pure passion. This paid off and wound up looking fantastic. The voice acting is another notable quality. Weirdly, this is the first time I remember ever hearing these teenage turtles actually sounding like teenagers, and the voices play off each other really well. This is likely because the voicing sessions of the main cast were conducted together in the same room, creating this perfect mixture of chaos, chemistry, and fun. The music was also great with a mix of nostalgic hip-hop and original compositions by Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. I'll admit I was a bit distracted by the backstory with a few of the details being different from what a lot of 80s and 90s kids are used to. And while the differences didn't bump me too hard, I thought the origin might have been a little over-explained at parts, making it a distracting enough thought popping up during an otherwise enjoyable movie. Mutant Mayhem carries with it a message of acceptance, and while the message is not super weighty and in your face, the film manages to extract a good amount of substance out of a simple and fun story, and it's safe to say that for longtime fans of this franchise, that's pretty acceptable. Cut! That's a wrap!